what is up guys and um, welcome back to another video now obviously what you'll see is something a little different on your screen this is actually Call of Duty Cold War and this is essentially just going to test the waters of a new game for the channel now I'm not going to say it's going to be a series however it could possibly become one further down the line so for this Saturday's video we're basically just going to kind of open it up explore my history with Call of Duty where I think it's going slash you know what you know is it doing well essentially is it in going in the right direction what i think is currently working and what i think they definitely need to reiterate and change for the future and and again just kind of what worries me especially coming into the world of cross platform so the way we're actually going to start this is talking about my history of call of duty now for me it was probably the first first person shooter shooter i played so I, st I wasn't allowed to play 18 rated games, so I think it was like 2012 and I basically got World War, World at War. So I remember that game and I remember just basically going around and you, you, it would be a lottery that you didn't get someone flying in the sky, essentially killing everybody. And then after that, I downloaded MW2 and I played that. That was probably the game I put the most hours into besides Battlefield 4. Before that, so I, I played MW2 probably for about three years straight, and I was essentially just messing around with my friends, probably having the time of my life at that time, sniping, trying to become a sniper for FaZe Clan, as I'm pretty sure every single kid was at that time, and yeah, just having a great time. And essentially, since then, I've just kind of evolved as every Call of Duty has evolved, you know, bought it every year, didn't have the money to buy it straight away, but it was definitely a Christmas noob for a few years, and then when I got into university, Probably went off it a little bit, but still continued to play it and got into more of things like zombies and custom maps and stuff like that. And then like when Black Ops 4 came out, I played that a lot. Probably didn't do my grades very well, but I still played a hell of a lot of it. Really enjoyed the game, which again just brings us to now. Didn't really play the BR in Battlefield uh, 4, I believe it was, or Battlefield 3. Didn't really play that at all, but I definitely played a lot of Warzone. And then from there, I've obviously bought Cold War and I'm enjoying at least the zombies portion of that at the moment. And now I'm just going to go into a few reasons why I think at least this Call of Duty, they've really kind of slacked on it. Now, from my point of view, I'm going to talk about two kind of views in which I have. The first is going to be around content and how when they launched and even up to this point. So what the game has been out for three months as of the time of recording this, they've just really kind of slacked on content i think when it first came out it had the lowest maps in which a call of duty had ever come out and now obviously there's something around the globe going on so it's a bit harder to deploy a game at the moment but they still managed to do that they still managed to get things like physical discs printed out and sent to stores and stuff like that but for me that that wasn't a major problem you know the the maps were actually good the ones that did come out so i was ha more than happy to play them the thing that more annoyed me was what came after that. So we had Nuketown, Raid and Express. Three maps from Black Ops 2, or a game almost probably a decade old at this point. And for me, it just seemed like they had no original ideas. They're basically reprinting maps, and there's nothing different to these maps either. There's nothing new added to them. It's literally the exact same maps, probably the exact same mechanics, just ported over. And for me, this was kind of a real low light because essentially... What you're doing is you now have 11 maps, but there's three of them are from the exact same Call of Duty and some of them before that are even remakes. And now if you actually play Cold War, essentially all you will get when you are playing it is the remade maps, which for me is really annoying because I actually enjoyed the maps before that and you just can't get it in the lobby, which is another issue on the side of load times and for whatever reason, long search times for games. Are really games are just really hard to find i don't know if they're showing anywhere the player count or anything like that if it's low but for me it feels like you know the player count is fine it was fine before it's just it just feels like people or the game itself search system just isn't working and it will take you a good five minutes to actually find a game now as well i just wanted to add on to this point of uh, content before we've seen uh, zombies when they do come out they come out often with two or even three maps. Obviously, Black Ops 2, I remember, had Transit, so that obviously had a few spin-off maps. But essentially, again, what they've done is they've just created another Dead Ops arcade game and just kind of replayed, spun that back out. 
which for me was quite annoying. However, I have just played, obviously, as you can see from the gameplay, the new map, and it is pretty good, pretty open. But however, I just feel like they could have put more maps in the beginning of the game itself when it came out. Now, the next point, and this is going to be, I think, for future Call of Duties, as they, as they have announced that they plan on supporting Cold War for a while, is Warzone. Now, Warzone essentially is the BR in which they're going to keep, and essentially what I understand their system to be is they're just going to port over the guns from the next Call of Duty into it. Now, I personally like Warzone. You know, I play it with a lot of my friends. It's quite a kind of relaxed BR when you're not in, you know, 100 gunfights all the time. You can loot up and stuff like that. However, for me, it just seems a bit weird that it's not evolving with the next Call of Duty. You know, there's no real map evolution or anything like that. And the updates on it are massive. I think it's up to 150 gigabytes, might be 100, but still even 100 just for not even the whole of a base game, essentially, is a bit mad for me. And for, also as well, I think everyone's seen it, is the fact that there are a lot of cheaters. You know, there is no anti-cheat on the game. It's literally manual, manual reports. And it's great that Activision are actually suing the companies, but all you have to do is essentially leave that company you know if you're a coder or a hacker or whatever you want to call yourself and start up a new one and you're ready to go again so for me there, there are still essentially a lot of things warzone has to address and what it what it could do as well is detract from the new game and again you know the lack of content probably you know correlates to this the fact that they are so focused on one game and it's not even the most current one it could also mean we won't get campaigns in the future. You might even get less maps and just more remakes. Yeah, and for me, this was probably the biggest negative in which I kind of took from the news is you're not going to be developing a new game. You're just going to be porting over your guns from the next Call of Duty. You know, you're not even going to be updating the map. And it's essentially, for me, it's going to be a waste of time. You know, I don't really see the pro. You know, I'm playing a game that's supposed to be based on Cold War and yet you go to... BR which is connected within the menu now and it's a completely different thing it's different mechanics for me it just doesn't really make much sense and as a final negative I'm actually gonna show a little glitch essentially and this is something in which so we have a friend who plays on console and essentially this is something he's been running a lot into so things like pause menus will actually close your game and this also happens on PC I've experienced it so if someone, a host of, let's say, a Zombies game, pauses, it can actually freeze your whole game and you have to restart. And obviously here we have one where we're trying to extract and essentially all the zombies are supposed to spawn in one place, but obviously they don't and we can't extract. Two friends actually glitched out and left before this, ironically. And yeah, this, this is the kind of thing I think, and for me it's a bit confusing, you know, again, going back to content, I would expect, okay, there's less content, so the game will be more polished maybe, but for me this just isn't the fact, if, for me, if, if I was a game creator, I would put this in beta, and that's, you know, that's not even a joke, it is like beta stage at the moment, with all the glitches and everything like that in it, and it's just really annoying to kind of play sometimes. However, to turn that around, when you are playing it, it is fun, especially if you've got a team of friends to play with. It's a lot of fun, and it's the reason I'm currently sticking with it. There are a few things in which, if I didn't enjoy and I wasn't good at the game, then I, w I wouldn't stick with it. I would just, you know, go play more CSGO or something like that. However, I am still enjoying it. For me, though, the content is the real thing. You, you need more things to excite people. I'm... I don't know if the long search time is just me. However, I have I've played with friends who are party hosts and they've had the exact same thing. So I don't I really don't know what's going on there. So for, so for me that's the kind of fix for it is create more content and basically fix the glitches. Probably the thing for most games, you know, if you want to be successful. But for me it's just annoying to see, you know, a game in which I've played for 10 plus years kind of go to the wayside essentially and yeah just just forget and go go for the money grab which is you know a br where it's free for people to join and play and obviously they're going for those loot boxes and the skins and stuff like that and it's just yeah it's just kind of sad to see you know pushing away from the 
original model that Call of Duty was and I thought really worked to, you know, what it is now. And then obviously finding out all the kind of background stuff of the actual creators, which isn't probably the most positive uh, light on them. So yeah, that's overall, that's the video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Kind of my thoughts on Call of Duty, where it can improve, what it is currently doing really badly. And yeah, that's kind of it overall. I will be trying to upload a few more videos here and there. Um, they might be on random days to maybe get four videos out a week. But I'm not going to promise a series. But anyway, hope you guys did enjoy it. And have a good weekend. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh my god. What? This, uh... Hello? Hello? Oh my yeah. God. Cool, the game glitched. That was fun. So